In order to use Crystal Ports 11, here are a few things that you're going to need. The minimum requirements. Windows 2000, XP or higher. 450 MHz Pentium 2 class processor. 128 MB of RAM. 600 MB recommended drive space. Also a CD-ROM. And returning to the real world, here are requirements that work much better. Windows XP, best or higher, Vista. 700 MHz Pentium 3 processor or higher. 256 to 512 megabytes RAM for real heavy usage. 800 megabytes, 1.2 gigs of drive space, depending on install options. Now, when I say what works well, or what works much better, it refers to how long you wish to stare at the Windows Hourglass before you pass out from boredom or your system crashes. Much of this will depend on how much data Crystal will be pulling. For the purposes of this tutorial, the test database provided is a record count of about 16 thousand records. Our goal in this course is to learn Crystal and the principles behind it, not load test and see how many records we can pull before our PCs crash. As a general rule, the more data you are pulling, the more memory you will require. If you run out of RAM, Crystal Reports 11 will use your hard drive to fill any shortage caused by running your Crystal Reports. We'll discuss in depth the performance of Crystal Reports later. Also, if not already installed, you may consider downloading the specific ODBC driver for your specific database. This is especially true if not using a Microsoft product which in general comes pre-installed. For the purpose of this tutorial no special driver installation is needed. In fact we can skip ODBC altogether in this course but the decision will be up to you. If you wish to take what you learn from this course and apply it you may want to consider this step. Also if you haven't done so already please download the work files provided with this tutorial. Save them somewhere you can find them quickly as they're used during the lessons. For my part, I have saved them out to the C drive folder called VTC Training. The coursework files includes a test database, formulas, and actual crystal reports developed for this beginner level course. The database was created in Microsoft Access, but that specific program is not required to be installed for our purposes. These will serve as good references as you progress through the course. It is also assumed that Crystal Reports XI has already been installed and working on your machine. As this is intended to be a learn-as-you-work tutorial, the lessons were meant to be followed along. The assignments and exercises at the end of the lessons are also very useful. If you find you are missing any of the minimum requirements, this tutorial will be harder to follow. Another note, due to the resolution of the movies, the training computer used in this tutorial has a screen resolution set to 800 by 600. This makes for a tight fit and reduced working display, but better text quality. On your PC, you can set it to whatever your monitor allows. The better the resolution, the more you can see and fit on your screen. Whatever your preference is, it won't affect your crystal performance.